Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to Stunt News. First off, just want to say happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Kwanzaa, all that good stuff. Hope you guys are enjoying it with uh, family and friends. Put some Christmas lights on the table for you guys. Yeah. Um, today I want to talk about stunt spot etiquette, lot etiquette, whatever you want to call it. Basically the unwritten rules of going to the stunt spot, being invited to the stunt spot, what you do at the stunt spot. So first, you want to make sure that if it's not your spot and you show up, you want to find out, you know, like, hey, man, who, who rides here? Who's been riding here? Oh, talk to so-and-so, you know, and then you talk to them. Be like, hey, man, I just started riding. I, you know, I'm trying to find guys to ride with. The easiest way for me that I think now is uh, going on Facebook and looking up areas, you know, hey, I ride FRI. There's like plenty of FRI groups or 636 groups. That you put, hey, yo, I'm from you know, San Jose, California, anybody out here ride, then you'll be, oh, yo, man, I'm in Oakland. I'm like 30 minutes away, you know? So boom, connection right there. You guys find a lot. This is basically what you want to do. You want to get permission. Like you don't want to just go to somebody's spot, do a bunch of burnouts and stuff like that. And then boom, next thing you know, the spot's blown because you had no idea you can't do burnouts there. Um, that's another thing. Ask about if it's not your lot, ask about, you know, burnouts and rev limiters. A lot of spots, they don't want to draw attention like that and they want to keep the ground clean because think about it, if it doesn't look like you've been there you're going to be riding there a lot longer another big thing that's always been an issue is cleaning up your own mess whether it be cigarette butts or chips waters your homies drinks your kids drinks uh your bike you know you crash you break a stator cover get some dirt put this dirt over it, put a cone over it, so that way the next person doing a wheelie doesn't go by and not see it and slide out in and break their own stuff. And then, like I said, it's not your spot, so if you're coming to the spot with you, your cousin, your sister, your brother, your mom, and everybody like that, just make sure they don't bring bikes because it's kind of a mess when you bring the whole city with you and no, there's no communication. They have no, no idea what to do. Make sure that you always have permission, not even permission, just like make sure it's cool, like general respect, basically. So there's always been someone there before you, obviously. And if you're going to a stunt spot and got a bunch of guys doing straight lines back and forth, make sure you like separate a side, basically. And also make sure that there's an area for guys that want to do circles and drifts like that, because that's just a melee. I mean, I'll, I'll post some videos. That's 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 melee. That's the best way to get hit, break your bone, stuff like that. So basically, everybody stay stay in your lane, give each other space. Everybody has their own different type of riding style, technique. Whether you want to go to the lot and learn circles, or learn to drift today, or stoppies, whatever the case may be. So just walk around, and be like, hey man, I'm gonna be trying to do some stoppies. You know, just keep an eye out for you, keep an eye out for me. All right, cool, general. <laughs> You know, just always look left and right before you clutch up front and back. Another thing, if you're uh, doing sit downs and you're only looking like this, think about it. There's people on this side of you, you know, no matter what. So always look both sides, always, because there's instance right there where guy's not looking one side, runs into a bike, another bike, boom. You know, don't you don't see, you're only looking at one side and you think you can see all the way in front of you, but you really can't. So both sides, left and right left and right let's do that that's basically it that's that's a general rule man you know like just respect the spot clean up your mess make sure you don't bring the whole city with you don't put up the address on you know craigslist or anything like that and just have fun help keep it clean oh and if you're jumping something make sure you have a spotter but yeah that's just a quick tip for stunt law etiquette um like i said i want you guys to get back to you know enjoying family time and everything like that so i just want to throw this up real quick that i'll have something else before new year's so stay blessed y'all take care